Today, I'm gonna show you how to get Fists of the Ruby Phoenix into Foundry VTT. I'm gonna be showing you step by step from scratch how to get my favorite PF2E AP into Foundry VTT. This not only includes every single module that I use, but also every single step I took to get this AP working perfectly in Foundry. So without further ado, let's get started. And remember to like and subscribe if you like this sort of content. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is the Ruby Phoenix PDF, but do not buy the special edition if you buy the special edition you just threw 38 dollars away because it's not going to work with the pdf importer i learned this the hard way the best place to buy the pdf right now is through humble bundle you can basically get the ruby phoenix bundle for 30 bucks which is a killer deal this is only going to last for six more days since the posting of this video so i guess buy it now if you really want to play ruby phoenix now we're gonna go ahead and make a new world, call it Ruby Phoenix, whatever. And I'm gonna show you how to import Ruby Phoenix into Foundry. The first thing we're gonna do is download and install the module PDF Importer. That's right, it's called PDF to Foundry Importer. And a couple more Fist of the Ruby Phoenix add-ons and map remakes. I'll show you how to use these in a second. Also, I'm pretty sure I put it in the title of this video, but if I didn't, this is version 12. Version 12 of Foundry. Don't go to 13 unless you think these modules are all updated on 13 by the time you watch this video. Now, what we're going to do is go to PDF Importer once the module is activated. Choose your first PDF. It should be called PZ090166. E. You need to have bought this legally, otherwise the PDF importer doesn't work. It's gonna go ahead and start importing everything at the top. It's gonna take its sweet, sweet time, but eventually you'll have everything imported after a few minutes. It's gonna give you this message at the bottom. And look at that, you got all your scenes. Some of your actors, not all of them, some of them don't have, uh, don't have art. So you're gonna have to use another sort of, sort of art from that and your journal entries. Now we like the maps, but we have better ones by Calnex. Thank you Calnex for these remakes. They're free. Just get the module that I posted earlier and let me show you how to import it. Once you have the free modules installed, just go to the compendium pack on the right and there should be a Fist of the Ruby Phoenix map remake. Just right click on book one. Actually, you can click on book one, import adventure, and it's gonna import all the maps in a neat little folder. These are map remakes. Some of these maps are better than the original ones. Some of them, are, I like the original ones better, so pick and choose. Lastly, some of the Ruby Phoenix stat blocks are a little eh. So Chas Saruni did a great job in balancing them and with the help of some other contributors has made a wonderful add-on module for this. The module is still a work in progress, but for now you can import the first book by clicking on import adventure and it should have all the rebalanced stat blocks. These also have pictures because I'm pretty sure I have PF2E token packs uh, bought. Yeah, you probably need these for the better pictures on these rebalanced stat blocks, to be honest. And that's how you get Fist of the Ruby Phoenix set up for Foundry. Remember to do this for book two and three as well. There's a couple more things I recommend for this AP if you're gonna keep watching. For example, I recommend you set up the journal entries a little better on the first island. It's not perfect the way it's set up. So what I would recommend, some of these journal entries aren't perfectly aligned. So I recommend you follow my Kingmaker video to, that shows you how to set up custom journal entries and change the icons. Check it out here. I'd also recommend some maybe custom maps that you can find on Patreon. This map is by Borrowbound, for example. I put all the starting teams teams here at the very beginning so that the party members could run around and chat to them if they wished. I'd also recommend Fist of the Ruby Phoenix expanded uh, the PDF that's free basically on uh, Pathfinder Infinite. Although I would pay the guy because it's actually super useful. PDF basically gives you a bunch of other teams you can add and gives you effectively some improvements to the stat blocks. Uh, or basically revise spells to some of these stat blocks, which 
I don't know if it's covered by the add-ons module, but still, uh, it's still useful, I reckon. It's free, so just grab it, who cares? Definitely pay him though if you found it useful, or tip him, or whatever. Lastly, my personal advice for this AP is go ham wild. You can even TPK your party, it's not gonna kill him. After all, especially in book one, uh, cause they've got the feathers and all that. It's a non-lethal fight anyway. You can be as brutal as you want in this module, and this module is already pretty easy, so do some extreme battles. That's it, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, bye! Oh, and watch this video. YouTube thinks you will really want to watch it.